Hello viewers, welcome to Elimo TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography, lesson 33. I'm your teacher, Madam Rosemary Osano, and our topic of discussion is energy. Let us look at the lesson goals. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss one, hydroelectric power stations in Uganda, two, hydroelectric projects in Africa, number three, the role of hydroelectric power in the economy, then the energy crisis, and five, the impact of oil crisis to Kenya. Our subtopic is hydroelectric power projects in Uganda. The main power station in Uganda is the Owen Falls Dam. On the site where River Nile flows out of Lake Victoria, provided a natural waterfall from where the power generation was possible. It produces 162 megawatts that supplies most of Uganda's electricity and about 30 megawatts exported to Kenya. It was developed to an upsurge of industries in Uganda creating a high demand for electricity and also high cost of petroleum since it is a landlocked country. On the screen, we can see the Owen Falls Dam, which is a major power generating plant in Uganda. Let's look at hydroelectric power projects in Africa. Africa has the largest concentrations and potential areas for hydroelectric power generation, but the potential has not been fully exploited due to some issues. For example, inadequate financial resources, two, potential sites located in remote areas, and seasonal fluctuations in the river water. The main power projects in Africa include Akosombo, which is in Ghana, we have Kainji, which is in Nigeria. There is Inga in DRC. We have Aswan Haidam in Egypt. Kafue in Zambia. We have Karibadam in Zambia. Then we have Kobora Basa in Mozambique. Let's look at geothermal power projects in Kenya. Geothermal is generated in areas with the seismic or volcanic activities with numerous hot springs and geysers and fumaroles that can be used to generate electricity. The main areas include Eburu, which is in the north of Lake Naivasha. Then another site is at Lake Bogoria and the famous one at Olkaria. Let us look at the reasons why geothermal power plants are not well developed in Kenya. The reasons are, one, limited number of the potential sites, number two, scarcity of the skilled labor, and three, inadequate capital investment. Let's look at significance of energy. One, it is used domestically, Number two, used in industrial sector. Number three, used in transportation sector. Then four, research in alternative energy to reduce over reliance on the existing energy sources. In agriculture sector, they are used in drying of the cereals and also used in pumping water. We can look at the causes of energy crisis. One of the causes is escalation in the oil prices triggered by the sharp rise in demand. Two is uncertainties in oil supply or the rapid depletion of oil reserves. Number three, an equal pattern of crude oil distribution in the world. Four, control of oil reserves by a few oil producing countries 
Number five, artificial shortage created by USA and Russia, which decide to conserve their resources. Six, economic and political wars, and lastly, misuse of energy resources. That's the end of our lesson today, but there is an activity for you that is write brief notes on power production projects at Owen Falls and Hariba Dam. For reference, refer to KLB Book 4, 5th edition of 2019. You can also contact us on our social media platforms. That is, our SMS line is 07 two three one four four two five nine on youtube we are at elimu tv on facebook you can find us at elimu tv and finally twitter we are at elimu tv underscore ke thank you for staying tuned